What is up my beautiful people? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Stella, aka it's TLA, aka Fairy Box Shop Baby. I hope that each and every one of you have a very blessed and a beautiful day and that you are saying kind of things to yourselves and to others. Before I jump into this reading, I want to go ahead and thank all of my beautiful subscribers for once again joining me on this beautiful journey called life and letting me tune in and tap into your energy. I truly, truly hope that each of you are having a very blessed and a beautiful day. And without further ado, my beautiful Virgos, let's go ahead and jump right in. Virgo, it's your season, baby. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I hope that you guys are getting all of your wishes granted and that you are just enjoying the season, enjoying yourselves, enjoying your home life and everything that you have built. And I wish you guys all of the peace, love, joy, and prosperity, good health, good fortune, and good luck in every single way. I love you guys so, so much. And I hope that this is the best birthday that you've ever freaking had okay cheers to another year to you guys so let's go ahead and shuffle and see virgo 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 what do we got for my virgos what do we got for my virgos Ooh. virgo we got a lot here okay Woof. Walking away from things that don't serve you, okay? So you could have walked away from a past relationship and you could have just ghosted this person. This person could have just ghosted you. There's like no closure here at all. I'm not getting that this was something that was very successful, that this was something that was not meant to last, that you learned your lessons from this situation. You took a leap of faith. You walked into it. You didn't really get what you were hoping to have from it. This could have been somebody who you were looking at with rose colored glasses and it just, it really didn't work out. Like there was the summer fling type energy that was happening here. I'm getting that it was just like, it was a lot of arguing. It was a lot of back and forth, pick, uh, nitpicking, bickering, you know, just like nonsense type of a relationship here. So I'm getting that you walked away, you ended it. And because you ended it, you now have a lot of new opportunities, a lot of new suitors. A lot of people are coming in and wanting to be around you, wanting to get your energy, but you're just wanting to be by yourself. You're really just wanting to be in your own energy here. And you're just kind of like enjoying the attention, right? But you're not really taking this serious. You're not really wanting these relationships but you aren't gonna stop somebody from buying you dinner and spoiling you and making you feel good because this last relationship really did just kind of throw you back for a while, you know what I mean? So, of course you know what I mean, you're the one going through it. So it feels like you definitely, you got the upper hand, you got you took the advantage on this end of the, end of the relationship. I'm getting that this person just really is not a good person. Yep, Three of Swords. This person is just going through a lot of mental illness, a lot of struggles with the self. They have a lot of inner conflict here and they tried to use you as medicine, right? Because they seen that you were well off, you were stable, you were secure. And so they kind of came in and they tried to ruin you, but it didn't happen. Like you're a queen of wands over here. It didn't happen. Like you're in your energy, you're in your power, you're in your element. It's your freaking birthday. You're not letting anybody take you down, but you're also not jumping into any new relationships or anything of that sort. So we have the Four of Swords here in reverse. You could be needing to take some rest, some time out, even though I know you don't really want to because it is your season, you're doing what you want, right? Enjoying your best life, doing all of that. You could be needing to take a little bit of rest here, but with it being in the reverse, I feel like you're just like, you're not wanting to deal with it. You're not wanting to process it. You're just letting, you're letting it go in the past. You're leaving it. You're letting this flame burn out. You're not even wanting to just go there, right? Because the world is your oyster. You are getting wish fulfillment. You are getting everything that you desired. And this is all because of this tower moment that happened between you guys. Something about this relationship triggered you into realizing your self-worth and the value that you have over your independence, right? And because of this failed relationship, you now have a lot more to understand about yourself and give back to the world, right? That this actually was a blessing in disguise. It was kind of annoying to go through to get the blessing that you have, but you have this blessing now. And we have the nine of wands here, which is telling me that you're looking at new beginnings with eyes of hope. Again, not taking any quick gestures into love, but just enjoying the attention, the appreciation that you're getting, you know, kind of like testing the waters out and just enjoying your best life, right? 
Two of Cups, the love offers are there though if you want them. I feel like you're more focused on business right now, which is totally fine, but those offers are definitely still there. The Magician in reverse is showing me you're not letting anybody take your energy from you. It's equal give or take or it's nothing at all. You're not playing this game. You're not letting anybody take what is your hard earned work and labor. Okay, so you could be moving in the shadows. You could be holding on to a lot of secrets right now and not really telling anybody what's going on behind the scenes. But what's going on behind the scenes is that you are building something that's going to last for a lifetime. You're not telling anybody about your successes. You're not telling anybody about your failures. You're not telling anybody about your stressors. You're keeping it all to yourself. You're standing on your throne. You're standing empowered. And you're just really in your own lane. I feel like you don't have a lot of people that are close to you right now, but even those people that are close to you, you're not really sharing much of yourself with them because this is so important to you that you have this success that you're not willing to let anybody come in and threaten that, right? So there's this bit of trust issues, but rightfully so, okay? So protect your blessings. Don't share it with everybody. Not everybody needs to know what you're doing. Even though you feel happy and you want to embrace this, right? Enjoy your successes. By yourself learn how to embrace your successes by yourself okay so we have the high, the high priestess in reverse coming out again with the queen of wands and also the three of pentacles i feel like you're looking at people with potential and you don't they don't know that you're observing them that you're actually weighing the pros and cons of please don't do that no no don't do that sorry my dog was about to jump not jump he's gonna walk over the cord of the tripod okay so i feel like you're definitely observing people and you're seeing if they are actually good partners or good friends you're kind of just like you're testing them without telling them that you're testing them but you're also not overly testing them like you know what i'm saying like you're just really observing and seeing how people are with you without them knowing the true level of success that you are currently reaching okay the queen of wands is a powerful manifester so i feel like you're definitely manifesting rapidly and with the high priestess in reverse you're definitely keeping all of this yourself which is good and keep it that way keep doing what you're doing virgo you're on path you're on destiny and without further ado that's where i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this reading i will see you guys again very very soon peace love and light